so Priscilla said that she would never do this with anyone except for you, Sophia. So what was it like to hear those words from her? Yeah, I was um, I was so uh, you know happy that she entrusted me with this story. I I um, I just called her and said, "Would you ever consider your book to be made into a film?" And she said, oh, "Let me think about it." But but I do feel really. Um, she told me that she liked my work and so that she would consider it, but she wasn't looking to make a film of it. And um, I really appreciated that she trusted me with this. Yeah. What was her biggest request when it came to how you represented or portrayed her relationship with Elvis? She just always conveyed how much um, love they have between them and how, yeah, just and how, how just the love between them, that that was really important. And, and her story is very revealing and there's really the ups and downs and it's not always flattering. And, um, but, but, between, but beyond all that, it was really important that, um, you know, that they be shown with respect and this connection that they had. Mm -hmm. And Kaylee, from what I understand, you spent about four hours with Priscilla. What was it like getting to know her? Maybe the most surprising thing that you discovered about who she is as a woman? Um, yeah, the first time we met, we um, we had lunch and she was so gracious with her time to sit down with me. Um, I think there wasn't s sort of one shocking moment. It was more just sitting with her and her reliving these intimate beats and sort of inside jokes or she'd just talk about how she was feeling on a certain night um, and she'd sort of giggle about a moment they had together and you could really see her going back to that time and uh, talking about, again, the, yeah, the highs and lows of it all. And it was just so precious to have that one-on-one -on -one time with her. And what was the first thing she said after screening the film to you all? She said to me, um, you know, that was my life. Like, it, she really felt like that and how the, the Kelly like, how did she express how I was feeling? That's really how I was feeling. And she told me I did my homework, which was a big compliment, because mm -hmm. we yeah. wanted to get it right. <laughs> what was, yeah. to that point about homework and getting it right, maybe the most, um, not concerning, that's not the word I'm looking for, what were you most concerned, yes, maybe, about getting right or not getting wrong about who Priscilla is? I mean, it, it, we're, we're telling a story of this complex relationship, so making sure it felt grounded and human and, it, you know, um, it sits in a gray area at times, but um, just just being true to, to, their, to their life and the love that they had for each other. And then obviously playing, the age range was something that I, I was really sort of worried that it was going to feel forced playing, mm -hmm. playing all those ages. So um, just wanted to make sure that I um, did my research mm -hmm. and got those beats down. No. And Jacob, stepping into those iconic blue suede shoes, mm -hmm. what was the most challenging part about that for you? Um, the most challenging part was, I don't know, I felt like I was in, I was in safe hands the whole time. So it was just, it was one of the most kind of freeing creative experiences I've ever been a part of. So I don't know if they really, like, it was, um, yeah, I didn't, it was just, it was just joyful. Yeah, joyful. Well, that's a beautiful way to experience such an incredible project. Um, <laughs> there's something here. It's this one. It's all Kaylee. Yeah, no, the, yeah. I mean, really, when you step on a set with these two, it's like yeah, you don't have to worry too much. Yeah, incredible talents, all three of you, but very smart man, um, <laughs> Kaylee and Jacob. What was it like for the two of you? First impressions, building that chemistry on set to make this a believable relationship. Um, well, the, for, when I heard that um, Jacob was um, attached, I I um, got in contact with him, and I think it was really important for us to feel comfortable around each other. Once we started on day one, I, we knew it was going to be a sort of um, uh, it, it, it was all going to go by so quickly. So to just, I was really relieved when I met him, and to know that he approaches the work in the way that he does, and he really does his research. And he was always someone that I felt like I could go to if I ever felt. You know what was happening during their lives at this time you know because it was it was all sort of scattered because we shot everything out of order so I just felt really relieved that I was working with this kind of actor yeah and Jacob what about you same same the exact same sentiment there's this the moment when you kind of first saw each other we went and saw a film we went and saw Gilda at the New Beverly yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was so we that's what I thought about your reveal it's from Gilda <gasps> really yeah we, oh so we God. sat we, we sat, sat in these chairs. That was the first movie. That was the first night we met. And you called you <laughs> called me movie. out on it when we started shooting. You were like when you were sitting there, you were like pretending to be a bit like Elvis when we first sat there. <laughs> oh and yeah. And I was eating the food kind of in this way and it was this it's silent funny. acknowledgement that we were both gonna go 
all the way with it mm. and we were and it was just immediate so you were taking said, you were taking notes the whole time yeah and then i was just like oh this, this we guy's kind of a real knew deal. that we were going to yeah. be we were going to hit the ground running kind of thing. i love to hear that yeah, that's incredible really nice. sweet what was it like for you sophia not just yeah. watching and witnessing but being an active part of leading this experience on set yeah, I met them both just once before. We never, I never saw them together before we started filming. And um, so I was really glad that they connected beforehand. And then when um, we all met up together, um, I don't know, there's just so much to do. You just put all your energy into yeah. making it happen. Yeah. But I was so relieved that they, um, they got along and were in sync and we were all uh, yeah. in sync and working together. And on a much lighter note, you know, we see Priscilla's evolution so often represented through the hair, the makeup, the outfitting, the, the decades that, that pass. What was that like for you to just get to experience? Did that help inform how you felt in each of these Priscilla eras? And which era was your favorite? Oh, good questions. Um, yeah, absolutely did. Um, it's that's hair, makeup, and costume is always a sort of final piece in figuring out how you're going to play a character, and that was very much true in this. And I feel like, um, you know, um, our HODs uh, in terms of hair, makeup, and costume uh, did such an incredible job and really did the research. And it was such a rich playground to play in in terms of this era of fashion and yeah. hair and makeup. Um, uh, and also was a sort of tool in her telling her story, and she used makeup and and uh, uh, fashion to 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 really it, it it showed you where she was at emotionally. To communicate, yeah, what she was feeling, absolutely. Um, to wrap things up, I want to show some of these most iconic oh, moments. Oh wow! And like, just walk me through it. Like, yeah. obviously, we have what this is visually stunning, but bringing to life these real events and moments. Uh, what do you remember most about filming these moments? Whoever wants to chime in. Yeah, I, that was a really exciting moment when um, we got to the wedding scene and, and Kaylee put that dress on and came out and standing under that flower archway because I always had those images early on from the research of yeah. like that's what I think of. And um, and so that was, it just felt like it all kind of came together at that moment. It was exciting. Yeah, anything to add? <laughs> I just remember the energy of that morning. It really almost felt like a real wedding yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and your sister was, was so, there. My, was well, yeah, my, sis, my sister came to visit me on set with my little nephews, and uh -huh. Sophia was kind enough to, to put them in the scene with, with her daughter. Oh so God, it actually felt incredible. like a big family yeah. affair. Okay. And it, was, it was like it was seeing so the touching. bride when you yeah. came in in that dress, yeah. but it was like everyone was the husband. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Was like, we all gasped. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's crying. I think yeah. they were maybe so playing, it was maybe even we wedding music. music. Yeah, they were playing the Hawaiian yeah, Lips on yeah, Elvis. Of course, of course. It was really beautiful. <laughs> Got it, and then really quickly here, Oh, yeah. I don't know which which one should we take. I've only got time for maybe wow. one more. Yeah, that was just so fun to see, and because um, we, you know, of course we looked at the real photos, and then you kind of have to forget them and make your own version, or, or just kind of framing it differently so you're not comparing it to the right, real one, and right. hopefully, hopefully you go along with it. But that I think the the, the having a baby with that hair and makeup, yeah, uh, leaving the hospital is pretty. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Epic. Yeah, that was my takeaway. I'm like, wait, what? She full glam, looked yeah. incredible. Couldn't yeah. be me. I'm yeah. slippers in a house. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you.